This is the male pelvic model. We're going to begin here with the scrotum. The scrotum is the skin-like sac in which we find the testis. Here is the testis. Um, the testis, of course, has the seminiferous tubules inside, and we can get a hint of that as we look at this cut through it. It's supposed to represent the seminiferous tubules right there. Let's go back out here. We have the uh, tunica albuginea. The tunica albuginea is the connective tissue layer that binds the testis together. So on this model, it would be this layer here on the outside of the testis. Next on your list is tunica vaginalis. The tunica vaginalis is better seen on the cat. It isn't represented on this model. Here is the epididymis lying on top of the testis. Here we find the vas deferens, all up like that. That's the vas deferens. Next to the vas deferens, we find the spermatic artery and the pampiniform plexus. We also find here the prostate gland. Here we see the seminal vesicle. This little cat on this model is the urethra, I mean the ureter, excuse me, the ureter coming here. And let me tip this up so you can see the other ureter. Here is the other ureter. <laughs> that. Here is the other ureter right here, going up to the kidney. Now we'll remove that, and we'll look at some of these structures in here. Here is the prostate gland, and here is, um, from here on out, is the penis. And we see a representation, this red representation here is the corpus spongiosum. This corpus spongiosum is the one that surrounds the penile urethra. Um, I believe this represents the corpus cavernosum right here. Okay. Right. This dilated area at the tip of the penis is the gland penis. 